inspired to write a song when we were over there because um, we were preaching to people and we realized that we don't control if they choose God. We do not control if they choose God. But guess what? God is for everyone. He gave yeah. his son Jesus so that we have that choice. So that he can wash away his sins. And so um, I was praying one day and I got this song. And the name of the song is It's Up To You. Because we don't control what someone else chooses. They get to choose the free gift that comes from God. So this one's called It's Up To You. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Give me wisdom to lead this people. Yeah. 
Yeah. He has the wisdom. Since he has the wisdom, I'm going to go ahead and give you all these other things that you didn't ask for. But what the first opening line of this song says, if we could ask God anything we wanted to, we would ask the Lord, make me more like you. How do you guys want to be more like Jesus? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's what the song's called.
figures. So we're shaking off the rust and we're happy to be here. Let's do that. <laughs> we're happy to be here. And happy that these guys, these guys join us. Because the first time we ever played that song that we just played, ever. They never even heard yeah. that song besides live, ever. Wow. So, <laughs> give it up for these guys. Amen. 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 Let's call Heaven's Calling. Heaven's Calling you. Next song's called Let's Go, or it's called Lego actually. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I, I, did, I, did I write this one right? I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> we always have a little argument. We always have a little argument about who wrote what. But basically, God wrote it, right? Amen. Hey, we settled our argument after all these years, seven to thirty years. Nothing to argue about. It's all from God to a servant friend. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> oh, we're going. Right. Can you put on the guitar a little bit, Lynn? I'm not going to get signal. Huh? You're not going to get signal. Come together a little bit. Uh-oh. All right. This is the closest I get to country, guys. <laughs> I don't do country, but this is the closest thing I get to country. Beautiful. You like country? Yeah. Cool.
Those earplugs I gave you, you guys might want to put them in now. <laughs>
My man over there promised us a punk rock, right? Punk rock. Oh, you're going to get it right here. Little Christian punk rock from 85. Yes, sir. He doesn't just sing slow songs, he sings some crazy That's right. too. Like, this is probably more crazy than all the ones we ever had. Yeah, this might get a little wild. Get crazy. But it's got a true message. It's called God Loves You. <laughs>
keep short accounts with God. And if there's something in your life that's not good, repent of it. I need to do that each day. Say, Lord, forgive me for my attitudes, my thoughts, any words I've said or anything I've done. But we need to draw closer to Jesus, just knowing that he's going to come. And um, so I've talked to a few kinds of people. First one talked about backsliders. Says you can make a change, you can turn around, you can let this thing go. But please hurry your playing games with God. He's going to let his judgment fall on you if you don't turn to him. The second one says, he says, you can, for the first time, you can turn to God and let him in, or you can choose to say the same. Time is getting short. I have to do is call upon his name. And the third verse says, hey, Christian, talking about you, talking about me. You can change the world. You can spread his love. Please hurry. The harvest time is now. You can bring souls in with help from our book. We all have a job to do, don't we? Amen. You have to talk to someone about you. This song's called You Never Know. to the upper room. Listen, if you are watching here on this live stream on Facebook Live right now, you have to be elevated. Your mind has to be in an upper place. You gotta be upstairs. I don't care where you were, but after a set like that, you gotta be moving and feeling that you're on the upward journey. I remember the deacons were talking about that. Well, you're watching tonight Red's Room Entertainment, and tonight we ask you that if you all can, go ahead and share this with someone watching along. If you can, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You're great, you're great, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. If you're watching at home, you're watching on Facebook Live, if, if you want, just go ahead and share this link on tonight. Listen, if you're here in the sanctuary, I'm talking to all my sanctuary people that are in the building, go ahead, if you're taking pictures, if you're taking videos, go ahead and hit hashtag Red's Room as you share those pictures, as you share those videos live on your social media platforms. Listen, it's been a blessing and amazement just to hear this punk rock 80s sound from upstairs. And to think about how God has brought them together all the way back in 1985, it goes to show you that when you lean on God, God will hold your hand, that you will live in legacy and in favor. These brothers come back together after 35 years. Listen, we're getting ready. We're going to talk to them shortly. But it's truly a blessing 
to hear them continue with the giving God of the glory through their music. And listen, wherever you are right now, I want to let you know that God hears you. He hears every pain, every issue, every struggle, and he's there to lift you up out of the holes that you've been in in your life. Listen, we're going higher, we're going further, we're going deeper here in Red's room on tonight. Listen, it's been an amazing time already so far. We had a wonderful, uh, our brother Robert, he come up here and shared after just him being in, on the acoustic guitar for so many years in his worship, and he shared his very way. Then we heard from upstairs a group of brothers that have band together all the way starting back in 1985. And listen, we have nowhere else to go but higher. Listen, if you're listening or you're watching, go ahead and let someone know what's going on now here on Facebook Live. This is a blessing, and I think it will be a blessing to someone by you inviting them. Listen, I know sometimes we get in these places where we're always encouraging someone to come to church, and we may have been in that place where that person, that brother or that sister, just always seems to shy away from wanting to come to the church house. Listen, you can give them the invite and have them show up tonight without them coming to the church house. All you have to do is share the link. Share the link and you get the opportunity to have them right there in place with you. During this pandemic, when Red's Room started, we began to navigate how to do things different, how to do things in a digital and technological platform. Well, God has kept us and has given us the technology and let's keep going further by us inviting and sharing with those that we know that may need to hear not only a word from the Lord, but might need a song of encouragement on their life. Amen. That's a blessing, and I'm just thankful. Listen, I am your boy, Pastor Anthony Desiree, and I am your host tonight here on this wonderful Red Room. We're all the way live in the beautiful city of Torrance, and listen, God is truly moving in this place. We're getting ready for our next artist as they're coming in their very own way. And I'm just thankful to God for what God is doing here in the beautiful city of Torrance. Listen, I don't know about you, but I know someone today may have gotten a phone call, may have gotten a text, may have gotten an email that was filled with bad news. I want to let you know today that the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, can outshine any bad news or bad information that you may have received on today. Listen, as you're going through the ups and downs of this thing called life, I want to encourage you that you lean wholeheartedly on the things of the Lord. Because it's on his favor, on his power, on his might that you will be able to be sustained. That you will be able to be kept. That you will be able to stand of life. That's what it's all about here in the Reds Room. It's all about giving up the praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. One concert, one praise concert at a time. Listen, you might hear the noise going on. We got a new band that's taking the stage and is switching on out. And we just give God the glory on tonight. Come on. I need, where are my people from upstairs? I need you guys to come on in here so we can go ahead and talk to you on tonight. My brother, my brother. Come on, man. You were blessing me on that guitar, brother. Man, my goodness, bro. Come on, tell the people who you are. And, man, tell them how long you've been playing. Well, actually, uh, my name's Kamari James. I've been playing since... Uh, Actually, I Brad's been playing. This Brad, Brad, get in here, get in here too. So, um, I've been playing since uh, junior high, junior yeah. high school, uh, and that's actually where I accepted the Lord. And uh, I had a camp counselor at Christian camp, and he was such a cool guy. I thought, wait a minute, I thought being Christian more than cool, and this guy was cool. So he was able to connect the Word of God to me in a cool way that I would accept it, and, and I accepted it. And being like, if you heard before, that Brad and I have been. Uh, friends since sixth grade, wow. and uh, Brad. I mean, I was barely a musician, but Brad was already playing the piano and all that kind of stuff before I even got it. I'm telling you, and now he plays guitar and everything else. I started at age four playing the two hands in the back of the kindergarten classroom on the piano. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but but you know what? Um, I was I was a and I was like, yeah, he was cool, but I was just the kind of a schoolboy, little boy. I just love Jesus all the same, man. Man, listen, I just want to ask you guys. Now, let me ask you this because. I grew up in a traditional church, right? And so, you know, I grew up in a traditional church and I began like in the early 90s to like influence and bring that hip hop influence, gospel hip hop, Christian hip hop 
into the church. I cannot imagine the pushback you guys may have dealt with in the early 80s when bringing, you know, that punk to the Christian worship. Tell us a little bit about that. We didn't have too much pushback, you know, thank, thank God. We kind of went to places that were open to us, and I think I'll give you one time we were shut down, not too loud, you know, but for the most part, we, we only went where we were welcome. You know, and there was one place. There was a couple times, though, I did see some people, like, put their hands over their ears and then walk out. I guess it just was my dad. He didn't want to say that. He's here tonight. Oh, man. Thanks for coming. So, uh, yeah, every once in a while, it was, uh, people like to hear it, because, man, they haven't heard the word preach yeah. in this type of music. Yeah, so, yeah. it was really cool. We enjoyed it. Nice way to reach people with, where, they're, where they're at. Now, brother, won't you tell us, listen, tell us a little bit about you, man. What are you up to these days, man? Well, uh, now actually I live in Daytona Beach, Daytona Beach, Florida. I used to live here in California, and I moved to Daytona Beach with my wife and one of my sons, and the other son here is in California. But what I'm doing now is I'm actually a hypnotherapist. I help people um, get over anxiety, depression, uh, and fears, phobias, that kind of stuff. But I believe that that comes from the discernment that God has God given me, my advocate for discernment. So when I listen to people and talking about something, the Holy Spirit and the gift of sermon lets me figure out what is going on in them to be able to help them modify the behavior that they're having and producing the results that they're getting and turning it into something else, turning it into something that is helpful to their life. So, Listen, wait, wait, wait. Now that's neat because your guys' music, I don't... I'm not, I don't call myself a punker. Okay, listen. But I was over here bobbing my head. I was, I was ready, man. I was ready. Where's the pit at? I'm ready to jump on in there. Listen. But listen, you, you said something that's amazing because I feel like music is that catalyst that brings about a shift. And when you talk about it, sometimes people are in this place being a hypnotherapist yeah. and getting in that thing. I just want to know, like, what would you recommend to someone? Because you, you've already laid the foundation as you were strumming the guitar and you, you brought about a change in the room. You may have brought a change to the stream. But today, man, with the Lord at the center of it all, what would you recommend to someone that needs a change or needs that peace to change and get that thing, you know? Well, it's probably the same thing that, that what I was looking for uh, when I came to the Lord is that God loves us. God fully loves us. And there's nothing that we have to do that would cause him to love us. He's already done us. Some of us think that we're not worthy of, of love. And that's somewhat true because God loved us right where we're at. He's always loved us from the beginning of time. He created us. And all we get to do is take advantage of that opportunity to say, you know what? I accept your love. I accept your love. And, and that's what I, I like so much about that is I finally realized that I didn't have to do anything except for just accept it. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Come on, Brad. Talk to us, man. Come on. Well, a few things come to mind. The fact that Jesus loves us even when we're in rebellion to him. Yeah. You know, it says that in the Bible that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God's already at work in each and every one of your lives. Even if you've never given God a second thought, or even if you've shaken your fist in heaven, God loves you, and he's just waiting to come, you know, for you to come to him, you know? And also, the scripture comes to my mind that says that we love him because he first loved us. He's the one who's getting, he's the one that's searching us down. We're not, we're not running out seeking after God. We're, we're trying to avoid God all we can, but he's seeking after you. He's seeking after me, he found me, he found each one of us. And the Bible is very clear that whoever's been forgiven much loves much. Yeah. So if you've been through, if you've done some really, really bad things, if you've really hurt people with your words and your or with your anger, whatever it is, man, when you receive God's forgiveness, you're gonna love him for you. Forgiveness, you're gonna love him all the more. Because his forgiveness for you is so real. One drop of Jesus' blood on that cross yeah. is enough to take away the sin of all mankind, past, yeah. present, and future. You just take your feet in that blood of Jesus and find out you're going to find healing, you're going to find healing, you're going to find forgiveness, and salvation. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, listen, listen. I want you to hold on to that mic. Look, look. These guys, these are, they're upstairs. I want to know where I can, personally, I want to know where I can go download some music. I'm going to be bumping some of that stuff, bro. All uh, right, if you go to youtube.com forward slash upstairs band, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got about, what bunch of videos? They're not all professional or nothing, but they're all fun. They're all oh, fun. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> and my only last thing I want to ask both of you, because you talked about it, you guys, Share your second to last song and some of the song based on your guys' title upstairs. And one of my favorite scriptures is as the disciples gathered in that upper room, they were in this upper room mind in this upper room place, ready for what God was already assigned to them, letting them know that He's going to go to heaven and they still have an assignment. 
I want to know, what would you recommend to someone that maybe feel that they're in the basement and now it's time for them to get to the upper room? They, they've been down, but now it's time for them to move upstairs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I do too. Um, um, sometimes we feel like we're not when we, when we find God, when we realize that it's true, when we realize He is true, and we think that we aren't we aren't enough to go out there. Because we have to listen to my story, but the, the person that led me to the Lord, I listened to his story. He's just a normal super guy, and I listened to him. And so that could be you. That could be you sharing your story with just one person, then two people, three people. You don't have to do anything besides just accept Him and then share. Share the gift of love. And you get and you could tell, you know, I, I, I messed up. I'm, I'm not perfect. I'm just one beggar telling another beggar where to find the bread. Woo! And the bread of life is Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> so, I love that, that's what it's all about. You know? I love that, brother. Because I'll tell you what, I don't, I'm not qualified. Yeah, not, he ain't not, qualified. I'm not. Yeah, dude, he's pretty close. I no, mean, no, no, no. He's I'm pretty slick. <laughs> but I know I ain't. But you know what? We are all called to be the hands, the feet, and the voice of our, our creator. And it just, um, you know, Bible says go into all the nations, make yes. disciples. Yes. But, but you know what? Going might just be crossing the living room to talk to that one person that needs to know that God loves them. Crossing the street, talking to your neighbor, crossing the town, crossing the ocean, whatever it is that God calls you specifically to do. But the key word is go. That means get up, move, and talk. Yeah. Amen, bro. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the brothers of Upstairs. Come on, give God the glory. Thank y'all, man, for sharing with us, man. Be blessed.